Fake helicopters, fake backgrounds, fake screens, and even fake photos. Seems like everything was CGI'd in Money Heist. Well, not really. The truth is that 90% of the show's most mind-blowing scenes were filmed with practical video effects. Want to know what the most challenging scene to make without any CGI was? Why did the showrunners hire a naval engineer on set? And why did the scuba scene become a never-ending nightmare for the whole crew, and especially for the VFX team? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's find out more and beware of spoilers. Filming Nairobi's murder scene. We intentionally wanted to start the video with this scene. Nope, it wasn't a hard one in terms of CGI, cause the only VFX here was the blood splash and blood puddle. See, simple as that. But it is a perfect example of how great and powerful a scene can be with just basic movie techniques. The perfect camera angle and exact editing. The moment you see Nairobi turning around in a slightly lower angle view than the rest of the scene was filmed, you understand immediately she's in trouble. And just two seconds later, the angle changes to a top view and BAM! Nairobi gets a bullet. We see her falling, looking straight into the camera, so that everyone can see the red mark on her forehead. The rest of the job was just doing a couple of takes, and about Alba Florence performing her last seconds on screen. This is not the only good example of the Money Heist team using basic techniques even in the most intense scenes. Here's another. Do you remember the moment that Berlin decided to get rid of Tokyo? <laughs> According to many Money Heist fans, this was one of the most satisfying scenes in the series. Tokyo totally deserved that, hundreds of people commented on the scene after it was uploaded on YouTube. And that was the result that the showrunners wanted to achieve. Again, using very basic cinema techniques. Here, take a look at the epic scene once again. What do you think? How many CGI effects were used to film this scene? Almost none. This brilliant sequence was made with the help of two simple ingredients. First of all, Tokyo's full-size prop. See, this is fake Tokyo lying on the table. And sometimes the poor prop experienced very traumatic moments. Ooh, ouch, that must have hurt. And the second ingredient was the astonishing editing. Watch how the editor used cuts in the scene to show the dynamic of the falling table. Combining close-ups and very wide angles, the viewers could see both the scale of the incident and feel the emotions that Tokyo had at that moment. These shots in particular were done using the prop. And here's slowed down footage of the actress acting out the heavy thuds of the stairs. The only thing that was left for the VFX team was to remove the rail tracks of the moving table. And voila! Combining these simple techniques helped to create the believable illusion of Tokyo being on the edge of death. Because if you can avoid the use of heavy CGI, why not, right? <laughs> budget cuts that changed it all. Before the show was bought by Netflix, it had quite a few budget limitations. For example, if the crew needed a view of the Philippines, they could only get it with the help of VFX that was in their price range. But after Netflix got on board, money was no longer an issue. And if the showrunners needed, for example, a Buddha temple in Thailand with elephants around it, Netflix would just give it to them. Or maybe the showrunners needed a military helicopter or even an island to shoot on. Sure, no problem at all. The only important question was how to make a scene work better and with less effort. Some of the craziest objects were of course generated with the help of VFX, like the elevator explosion, or the dirigibles, There are also the moments that look like tons of visual effects were used to create the scene, but there were actually hardly any. Madrid's Money Rain. 
The director of Money Heist, Jesus Colmenar, always fought for authenticity. If he could make something happen for real on set, he would do so. And the scene where millions of euros reigned over Madrid was no exception. How was it done? The money was fake, obviously. And the director decided to use giant blowers that lifted the fake money bills up in the air. Sounds like a good idea? Uh, not really. It kind of sucked in practice. The crew threw the bills at the blowers, hoping to get them to fly in the air properly. But they just didn't. So the filmmakers had to collect the bills from the streets with shovels and vacuum cleaners and throw them at the blowers again. And again. Dozens of times. Until the director got enough realistic footage of the bills flying down from the sky as if they were raining down from an airship. And this wasn't the only problem they faced while shooting the scene. The much bigger one was the weather. Yes, on the day of filming, it started raining and made things way more complicated. First of all, hundreds of extras on the set didn't have any shelter. On top of that, the fake money began to get wet too, as well as the set, which meant that the crew needed to dry both the fake bills and the square of Madrid. Wow, that sounds like a hell of a lot of work. Wasn't it easier to just draw the goddamn bills in post-production? Anyways, that wasn't the only example of the Money Heist crew being authentic and avoiding VFX. Remember the underwater robbery scene? It was a living hell for the crew. And so many things went wrong on every level while creating this sequence that there was no way to finish it without CGI. The Flooding Vault. The inspiration behind it was 100% authentic. Yes, there is indeed a sinking system in the gold vault in the Bank of Spain. In the event of a robbery, the chamber would be flooded with water via special pipes, leaving the robbers imprisoned with the gold. So, how could anyone overcome such a protective security measure? Believe it or not, but to answer that question, the Money Heist team hired a naval engineer to design the robbery. Yes, the engineer proposed building a special interconnecting antechamber so the heist members could cut a hole in the door and attach the antechamber to it. In this case, the robbers could enter the flooded chamber, leaving the door closed. Smart, huh? The preparation got even crazier when the screenwriters hit the next nagging question. How would anyone be able to melt 90 tons of gold? Simple. All you need is a huge furnace, a tiny bit of passion, and lots and lots of gold ingots. The Money Heist team did a huge amount of research, taking a tour of a jewelry workshop in Spain. They made a whole documentary for the screenwriters, with the exact explanation of how the traditional gold melting process works, and how to turn ingots into nuggets. Yeah, beautiful. While filming the melting scene, they didn't use real gold, of course. Brass totally did the job. So again, no heavy CGI was involved here. The real problems occurred when the crew started to film underwater. The VFX nightmare. Denver did a great job stealing gold from the Bank of Spain while underwater, but did you ever wonder how they filmed this scene? According to the Money Heist crew, the making of that sequence was a living hell. Anything that could possibly go wrong on set definitely did. Firstly, as the gold was fake and airy, it began to float, so it should have been drilled into the tables. Secondly, after several takes, the fake gold began to shrink because of the water pressure. Because hey, the whole set was 6.5 feet underwater. That's a lot of pressure! There was also another problem. The tables on which the gold was put on started to corrode, so the surfaces had to be polished to cover the blots. Jeez, problems occurred every single minute, and solving all of them took months. At some point, the director of the show gave up. There was no way to make the sequence without the help of CGI. The gold looked so fake on the final footage because even despite all the crew's attempts, the water curved the ingots. So about 1,000 single gold pieces were retouched in post-production, manually, shot by shot. Can you imagine what a titanic job that was? Which obviously made the VFX team really hate La Casa de Papel. Let's just say we lost a lot of sleep during that process. Do you guys love Money Heist as much as we do? Then we have more videos for you. Check out these. Thanks for watching and take care.